Hey, this is Red Band, coming to you live from the World Famous Comedy Store for a brand new episode of Kill Tony, Volume 4. Get up for a Tony Hinchcliffe. Hi, everybody. Make some noise Monday night. Here we are. It's a live show. We are live. Hello to the thousands and thousands on Ustream. Jamie Vernon on the HD camera in the what? back, everybody. Ryan J. E. Belt House Artist, drawing on a blank piece of paper right now. He's going to draw tonight's episode. He drew the official Kill Tony poster. And Brian Redband's here, ladies hey and gentlemen. Hey, guys, what's up? noise for Brian Redband. Hey. Brian and I are doing Kill Tony. For those of you listening to the stream and the podcast right now, live, we're going to be in Houston, Texas. Fuck yeah. I can't um, wait to go back to Houston. Next Saturday, November 19th. November at the, 19th. At the Come and Take yeah. It Festival. So uh, come check us out there. We're there that weekend. Look at the Come and Take It Festival. You live near Houston. And uh, we haven't announced this yet, I don't think. But uh, can we announce San Francisco? We can almost announce. Yeah, let, maybe, we, maybe we can. What's that called? Sketchfest. S- Sketchfest. That's yeah. a really big festival in San Francisco. We're going to be doing that. We're going to be doing Kill Tony, this exact show, there. And yeah. at the Come and Take It Festival. It's going to be great. Next Saturday in Houston, San Francisco. Kill Tony's traveling. That's the show that you're at. So how about one more time? Let's make some fucking noise. You guys ready for a crazy... Wait, why is that like that? Stuart, Stuart, why is that like that up there? I just noticed this now. Yeah, dude, we have more customers, so... Uh, Holy shit. Yeah, this, is a, this is a first. Wait. Yeah, so we had to clear out all the comics so we can put more customers up there. Wow. So you, okay, cool. Yeah, just keep seating them and then let the comedians file in, I guess. I'm not used to ever seeing that that empty at all, and that really just fucked me up. It's that main room where uh, we're growing too big for the old belly room now. I, I sort of feel bad for the comedians. I feel like they're just, where could they possibly be if they're, they're not They're all there? in the green room. I feel like people are just stacked on top of <laughs> toilets right now back there. I mean, what? Okay. All right, forget it. This place is like half packed because of this, Stuart. What did we do? I'm sorry, I'm trying to make room for your audience. How many more is there? There's a lot. There's Josh, how many more people are there? In the, is there like a line? This is <laughs> what, Josh, Josh? That's half the room. What do you mean a lack of communication? I'm really bad at my job. Comes back in if there if there is room, but I want to make room for your audience first because they they take priority. Our security guys are so serious here. They have great pride. Your audience. <laughs> <laughs> and I love, I love how they seat the, the customer right in fr- the one seat that they shouldn't be sitting in right in front of the camera. Where the, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, instead of having them over there. I trust oh, that geez. guy, though. I like that guy's style. He reminds me of both Mario and Luigi. <laughs> Give me some of that Benny Hill. Yeah. Huh. Welcome back to the Wacky Morning Show. All right. Uh, <laughs> Stuart's still seating people. For those of you listening to a podcast... Uh, we have uh, one of the veteran, very funny door guys uh, seating the show very awkwardly, like it's never been done before in 185 episodes. Uh, so I took a moment to acknowledge that. One of my favorite things about this show, other than Josh Martin, our uh, super awkward producer, there he goes, uh, is that we have a live band. I love this live band with all my heart and soul. Uh, part of it, Jeremiah Watkins, is in New York City right now uh, doing a roast battle and a bunch of other cool things. But we are left with the roots of the band, the backbone. Put your hands together for them. It's Pat Reagan and Joel Jimenez. Wow, another very impressive entrance. For those of you listening to the podcast, it's probably what you thought it was going to be. They were indeed the Blue Man Group. It's so great. They came out playing instruments, dressed in the all black. <laughs> Pat's, Pat's wearing some, he half went for it on the full head cover there. I like that. That's so great. I love that. Joel, did you make that? Did <laughs> Doing a little touch up as they go. (laughs) 
little drum solo from Pat Reagan. Normally doesn't play the drums, and I think we just found out why. Uh, Joel Jimenez on the percussion, but Pat's sticking with it. He's got the guitar behind him. Welcome, welcome to the show, Pat. Hi, Joel. What are you guys up to? You look great. Uh, I'd, ima- I'd imagine this is sort of what uh, Steve Jobs looks like right now. <laughs> this is what you guys look like. It's exactly what you guys look like. Just rotten, rotten, uh, but wearing the uh, classic turtleneck. Oh, I think they're doing the uh, blue man don't, doesn't talk. So are you guys talking? Are you oh, going full character? Talk. Is that what's going on Uh-oh, here? Stuart just <laughs> used his power to open the gates. Just for the, those of you listening to the podcast, uh, the room just uh, doubled in energy and size because uh, Stuart has decided that there's no more audience members. <laughs> wow I can't wait to see what happens if audience members show up right now Stuart goes just starts just rear naked choking out comedians dragging dragging their corpses to the middle of sunset <laughs> Stuart what's your Twitter handle at Stuart B. Thompson. Thompson everybody it's a little shout out for the, one of the top rising funny men Stuart's awesome Stuart's the shit I'm busting his balls a little bit making it awkward uh, so let's just jump into the show. You guys ready to meet tonight's comedy guests, huh? Who loves comedy? I love comedy. Comedy, comedy. C O M E D Y? Because it's fun. Your guests tonight, as always, two of the funniest human beings on the planet, two of my favorite people, two people that I've been coming up with for a fucking decade. Put your hands together for two of the greats. It's George Perez and Jade Cataprata. <laughs> George Perez, fresh off of a breakout episode of the Joe yes. Rogan Experience, George Perez, and the Stone Cold Killer. Yes, happy to be here. Love your alien tampon band. Woo! Love it. <laughs> you fucking tampon band. <laughs> you just got roasted. <laughs> just got roasted. We well, did uh, it to yourselves. Uh, we got a little buzz. I wonder where that one's coming from. Uh, George, what's, what's up? Not much, just hanging out, chilling. George, yeah. you have you are going to be on the Road to Roast Battle. It's taping next week, so yes. you're going to be on Comedy Central roasting, which is how I met George. Breaking news <laughs> was in a uh, crazy fucking roast show. Is yeah, him and I met. We made it down all the way through a March Madness tournament of making fun of one another. Except the show that we did had no rules. They had no. nothing set up. It was just some pilot for. Uh, they ma- took all the Yo Mama guys, which, by the way, you're a Yo Mama champion. Do you well, guys remember the uh, show Yo Mama? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking insulted people. George yeah. is like one of the grand champions. Yeah, uh, I'm also Baby Mama champion, too. Baby Mama? I don't yeah. get it. That was, that was too cool for me, George. You <laughs> lost me on that. I'm not going to lie. Uh, that was for my Planned Parenthood sponsor. <laughs> oh, shit. It's dropping sponsors. <laughs> Uh, you guys have both done the show before. Yes. We've been doing comedy together forever, all of us. Two of yeah. my favorite humans. You Very guys just want to jump right into it, get the show going? Let's do it. And a Fuck bucket yeah. full of comedians, ladies and gentlemen. It's about to fucking go down. Because over 50 random human beings signed up for tonight's show. Some of them rising talent. Some of them trying comedy for the first time. Some of them are completely insane. Anything can happen on this show because anyone's allowed to sign up on the patio between 6 and 7.30. We see it happen every week. Comedians or new people, you know how it works. If I pull your name out of the bucket and you signed up, you get 60 seconds. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. Aw, that means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. All right, there it was. There it was. Oh, the mouse is back. <laughs> the mouse from a few episodes ago. He lives in my kitchen now. In the wall. Yeah, I've been watching your disgusting posts. I think I have a mouse in my house, is the tweet. N- next day, I set up a camera to see if there's a mouse. <laughs> and I have Sarah Tiana's tour dates on behind it in the drawer. So Five hours later, there's a mouse, it turns out. Here's a picture of it. I'm going to find a r- mouse trap now, like anybody would have done two days ago. Right. When I knew I had a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to set up a bigger camera this time. Let's get a steady cam on this mouse. Follow him through the... It'll be like Goodfellas, but you're following a mouse. You guys... I pulled a name out of the bucket. You guys ready to start this mother... I mean, we're still like... I don't know what... I don't know. Did Pat, Pat, did you play... You played some of your slow stuff tonight or something? They're a little bit... They feel a little <laughs> bit soft tonight. A little sleepy. This doesn't seem really rock and roll. Are you guys okay? 
Is there anything you guys need? Boner pills? <laughs> if boner pills is the answer, then it seems Brian has you covered. I got some. I pulled a name out of this bucket. I'm excited about this because I know for a fact I've never said this name before. Oh, yeah. Let me see it. Let me pee. New blood. Here we go. I'm going to okay. say it. It's Yama Nikele. Yeah, let's do it. Nikele. Yama. Y-E-M-A. N-K-E-L-E. Here Where we go. She? Oh, I Come thought on, it was a girl. Some, make, put your hands together for Yemma, ladies and gentlemen. It's yeah. a real live show. I promise you. Uh, damn it. My name is Yemma and Kelly. If you can't get that, I can't help you. That's as short as I can get it. Uh, if my dad was here, he'd be like, that's not your name. That's not what I named you. Your name is Onyema. And I have to walk into class and he'd be like, oh, that's such an interesting name. What's your name? Onyemachi. Oh, where'd you come from? Oh, I'm from Anaheim. The accent, it just came with the name. I went out there, like I flew out there for the first time. I was so happy, I hopped off the plane. I said my whole name, I'd say it again, but I only have a minute. So I said that shit, and then after they said, oh, that's a good name, a fine name, a strong name. Sa, you are one of us. This is Christian, this is Solomon, and this is Neil. I was like, Neil? Do black people have Neil yet? When did we get that? I didn't even know. Uh, <laughs> God damn it, boy. Man, I'm 6'6", six, six, and like the worst part about being 6'6", six, six is the fact that people feel comfortable walking up to you and saying, oh, if I was your high, I'd be playing basketball right now. I'd be in the NBA, I'd be dunking from the half court. I'd be like, first off, you can't dribble with your left hand. And I can't go up to people and do the opposite. Like, I can't go up to the shortest person in the room and be like, boy, if I was your high... <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen. I just shit myself a tiny wait, bit. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. This is where we get to hang out and meet you. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> uh, I say good stuff. When you say the Neil name, like, I, I didn't know we had Neil. You can add a couple more tags to that, like another, uh, a couple other black names that you're like, I didn't know, you know what I mean, that we had. Yeah. That's a good one. Savannah. Oh, my God. Brian, you are out of control. It's Brian Redband. It's has his own soundboard that he does stuff on. Independent. Brian's soundboard does not express the thoughts of Kill Tony and its <laughs> subsidiary. You're not Corbin. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Wait, so where are you from? Are you from Anaheim originally? Uh, that's where I was born. Yeah. I'm from LA. LA, cool. San Pedro to be a Orange guy. County, Anaheim? Orange County. Hmm. San Pedro. Are you from Orange County, Anaheim? Yeah. Uh, you, I'm not a border patrol. You look scary. <laughs> <laughs> I liked you, bro. I mean, you're cool. <laughs> Your sweats, they're like, they're like Malcolm extra tight. <laughs> <laughs> you do but seem very comfortable. Those are yeah, comfortable those are comfortable. Pants. I feel like... I'd fly yeah. in that. I'd fly <laughs> yeah. in that. I would never perform in that, but I, I would, I'd fly. That's pretty much sort of yeah. what I wear. I couldn't, if I was in the front, I would have just been staring at your dick, so I say maybe regular pants, so it's not so... Brian was staring at your dick. That's yeah. what that sounds yeah. like. Yeah. Yama, let, Yama, let's get into it. Uh, you're a bad motherfucker. How long yeah. have you been on stand-up? Uh, a year. A year. Nice. What do you do for work? Uh, I work with kids with autism. Holy shit. You're Ooh, a goddamn Oh, wow. American you're hero. an angel. That's what's wow. up. You're an angel. Yes. Yes, Fuck, wow. Yeah. Thugs for autism. <laughs> <laughs> that got a quick, yeah. quick sharp laugh. And then it got oh. quiet. <laughs> and it, and it. Let's see what happens next. <laughs> <laughs> I liked your set. I thought, yeah, I thought we got to know you a little bit. How your dad is? Yeah. What does your dad do? Uh, he was an engineer. Okay. He was an engineer. Okay. I was like, oh, did he pass away? I don't know. Got creepy there. For um. A so, how long you been taking care of autistic kids? Uh, it'll be a year next month. Everything that you do, you've been just doing one year. year. Uh-huh. <laughs> what were you doing before all this? Uh, I lived in Nigeria. For, I was working. I was working as a teacher in Nigeria for two years. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Brian's soundboard is a part of Kill Tony. Uh, <laughs> if, if you notice that it's extremely hilarious. Day by day. Uh, yes, it's part of the show. <laughs> anyway. Dude, uh, like Nigeria, like w- I was, that's what I'm g- want to know about. So yeah. let me ask you this: <laughs> You're in Nigeria, like, what are the ladies there like? <laughs> <laughs> when they're they're amazing, like when they like smell a green card on you, like when you oh. drop that American accent on them, like, oh my god, the oh. that's funny. That's funny. Wow. <laughs> 
So what do you do? what do you have to wear like four condoms <laughs> in Nigeria? Hey, I definitely had like a suitcase devoted just condoms. Like I bet, I like, bet. And looking yeah. at how big you are, I'm guessing there was just one condom. In that suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm proud of myself for that one. <laughs> so well, that's cool. Like, so you ended up hooking up with like a lady there in Nigeria? Yeah, a few. I mean that. that was she a student of yours? No. Did you notice anything? <laughs> did you know did what? Uh, he could be teaching older people English, guys. How old were they? It was fourth grade. Oh, okay, yeah, no. <laughs> no. And they were also autistic. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, he didn't say he was doing that in. What were you teaching autistic kids in? So no, let me no, ask you this: They put down autistic kids in Nigeria. That's not true. <laughs> like, not like really kill them, like kill them, put them down. Nah, like, what do you mean I, I they? Put they put them to sleep. They oh them to shit. Sleep. <laughs> When you were making love to a when you were making love to a Nigerian woman, uh, and uh, was the, did you notice anything different that they did maybe that like Americans it, don't do? The the Nigerian accent moaning is very off putting. Oh, what that's is great. That like? Let's What's hear it. Like? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. It never gets old. It <laughs> never. <laughs> I <laughs> want. got me for a second because his mouth moved and it looked like he actually did it himself. <laughs> I want to go to Nigeria. <laughs> Holy shit! Wait, let us hear it. Let us hear it, Brian. Yeah, do let, let him do it. <laughs> let him do it. I want to hear it. No, look at me while you do it. Whoa! <laughs> oh Jesus, Brian! Come on. That's just out of control. See, that's one of the things that's just Brian's own thing. Uh, so I've never, I've never attempted this before. I want to hear. Is it like all oh, oh, nationalities oh. do have different moans? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what's the one? Uh, like it, like in Brazil, it's like ay, 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 ay. that's yeah, everybody. Like, yeah, yeah. Ay, 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 ay. Like that. It's like oh fuck me. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's very <laughs> off putting. <laughs> no, Brian. <laughs> Not an elephant. <laughs> Fuck. Good lord. You're out of control tonight. What is going on over here? Is that like an elephant call right there? Did you give you did you give your uh, soundboard boner pills before the show? <laughs> There's oh. something funny there about the way they moan and because you're talking about language and your dad's accent and stuff, well, I that, feel like that can kinda that first noise that you made that oof <laughs> that thing. I mean that's pretty wow. powerful. Yeah. 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 Like and ooh. It, but it's like <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, Brian, you can sit out the rest of the episode. <laughs> you can take the night off. Go party on the patio. Just leave all the volume levels up. You have the night off. I'll upload I'll upload this myself. I'll edit it and upload it. Me and Josh will get together. It's not gonna get any better than this. You gotta go out. It's really good. He just has Lion King pulled up, waiting for it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but tell us something else cool that you think is like independent to you, like that we wouldn't guess. You know what I mean? Something that's yeah, cool. like a softer side. You ever like yo-yo while skydiving or anything like that? <laughs> um. Anything crazy that you've seen or done? Been Are your nipples of? lighter than your skin? I don't know. Wow. Anything is, weird? Is that a thing? Like sometimes. A, I don't think that's a thing at that's all. That's a thing. Is that a thing for black people? Is it? I don't you know. tell me. Yeah. <laughs> um, fuck. Something Jade, you, you wouldn't guess. I don't know. Jade, you ever been with a black man before? Yeah, I've been with a couple. Ooh, a couple. <laughs> wow. But Nigerian I don't know why I was black? looking at him like that. Mm, Nigerian couple. black? No, not Nigerian black. No, oh. lighter black, like Virginia black. So they've been through stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia black. Yeah, they've been oh, through stuff. So they were white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were yeah. just wearing a backwards UVA, baseball. UVA black, black guy. Yeah. <laughs> totally hooked up with a couple black guys once. <laughs> totally. Trevor and uh, Smithton. Um, <laughs> Smithton. <laughs> I just totally made up a white. Yeah, he's like there. an evil frat guy. Smithton. Um. <laughs> Virginia black. That's like a blunt rap name. <laughs> Virginia black. <laughs> It is. <laughs> I'll take those Virginia blacks. <laughs> <laughs> that really is a blunt rap name. Yeah. George yeah. Perez. That's what's uh, up. Anything, Yama? What's the, what's, your, what's the craziest thing that you've ever seen in your fucking life? Craziest thing ever in my life. Um, fuck. Uh, I, I, or a special talent that you have? 
craziest thing I ever seen in my life was. Oh, you don't have any the talents. No talents. For sure. No, uh, Street Fighter is my biggest talent. Really? Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Like, I'm John, guess, John I, for some oh. reason, I feel like you're not even talking about the video game. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you just beat oh, people up. I didn't even think about Street that. Street Fighter is my favorite <laughs> video game, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> These fucking kids stress me out today, dog. <laughs> Who's your character on Street Fighter? Um, Chun Li. Either. Nah, never that. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, we Chun- are talking about video games. Chun-Li, like okay. you said, Chumley, like you said, Chumley from uh, Pawn Stars. <laughs> I thought he meant real life. That's why he had sweatpants on because he had to kick, like fly kick, you know, yeah, right. a lot of movement. <laughs> <laughs> is it, Come on, is it Dawson? You got, you're out of uh, control. Either, either, either Ken or Gal. Ken or Gal? Yeah. That Interesting. American that Sonic boom. I definitely huh. know what you guys are talking about. Is, that the, is, is, there, a, <laughs> is there a black guy on Street Fighter? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, there's a few of them. Jamaican. Yeah. It's a Jamaican. Aye. Yeah, and we, we assume Sagat is black because he's so tall. Huh. Oh, because in Mortal Kombat, it's just what? Jax, right? Jax, yeah. and he's terrible. Yeah, he's really <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is out of, out of context kind of, but on your set, when you make fun of the guy dribbling with the left hand, you can take that out because then it makes, you f- it makes it sound like you're talking down to some other dude. Does anybody else see what I'm talking about? Jesus, Jake. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying no, to build a little storyline where it's so <laughs> the like left. Later, no, on, later on when you're like, yeah, do you like that fucking advice I gave you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking like, blow my shit up. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, you're like. No, but I think it would be a smoother I joke. He's, I, okay, forget it. Forget it. I'm, re- I'm <laughs> giving real three advice. jokes set up, but Jade's going super Sorry. serious on me over I'm here. serious. No, I'm fucking serious. I'm fucking serious. <laughs> you need to say the dribble part. <laughs> Take out the left hand thing. Don't ever say that again. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> She's right. Anyway, uh, how do you say that last name again? In Kelly. In Kelly. Mm, Kelly. Yeah, me, yeah. Mm. That sounds That's like a Mexican go where you live. In Kelly. In Kelly. I love how Mexican you made that. In Kelly. In Kelly. How were you not half the cast of Narcos, by the way? I mean, it's incredible, George. It blows my mind. Yes, I, w- he is. I was in jail when they did it. Fi- <laughs> you were? I was like writing for it. No, this is what happened. The reality yeah. show. It's, it's actually yeah. true. Uh, <laughs> so it was nice to meet you. There he goes. Good job. Yeah. Here, Yama Nkele. Nkele. Yama Nkele. He's on Twitter at comedy Yama Yam. Y-E-M-A. Y-E-M. You just met him. Let's go right back to the bucket. Shall we? You guys having fun? Hello. We have, we have more fun on Mondays than anybody else. Jamie Vernon knows what I'm talking about. Him and I were shaking hands with Kanye West a few weeks ago. You guys know what that's like, right? Put your hands together for your next comedian, Jim Anderson. Yes. Woo! I found out my dad doesn't care for me. Doesn't give a shit. Actually, he does give a shit. I'll tell you the story. Uh, we went on a family vacation to Dallas. We all stayed in the same room. And uh, I got out of the shower, and I found out my dad wipes his ass with towels. <laughs> How'd I find this out? Well, this takes a long time to dry. There's only one dry towel left. I'm going for it, and I go, <laughs> no. <laughs> ha! It's my dad shit! So I get, <laughs> I get out of the bathroom, and I go up to him. I say, how about... How about you start stop uh, wiping your ass with towels? He goes, how about you get to your own room? <laughs> so I said, touche. I'll, I'll get a little shit on my face for saving a hundred bucks. Well, again. But I, sh- I should have been... Uh, <laughs> I should have known because back in the day, uh, he, uh, he made me a drug dealer. Uh, what happened was the kid next door dropped a, do- a dime bag underneath his car and he picked it up and he said, hey... Uh, your, your friends smoke weed, right? Here, sell this and uh, we'll split it. So five bucks later, I'm a, I'm a felon. <laughs> Yay! Wow. Unbelievable. Man, that's awesome. Sometimes we, ne- we, go, we go many episodes yeah. without ever seeing the bear. And it's we are two well. for two on people going wow. uh, slightly over the time limit. That's fun. We're, we are double bears tonight. Look out. This is a special oh episode. My. Jim, what is up? How, Not much. I don't even remember hey, what you Jim? were talking about before the bear, but let's get right into that <laughs> awesome towel shitting thing, which I love. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about a year and a half, two years. Yeah. You, 
do you go up a lot? Where do you live? You live like 45 minutes outside of the city, correct? Uh, I'm in Burbank. Yeah, I was right. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. Sitting yes. on flappers. Flappers Super a lot. Point. Yeah. yeah. I probably, yeah, I do flappers yeah. about once a week. So. About once a week. Oh, yeah. Right. So, <laughs> exactly. Uh, and, you know, it's sort of like, you know, I could sort of tell that, but the way that you, you have, you have a natural, like, very interesting backwards delivery. Oh, okay. Even though you're talking about some shitty towel. So let's talk about this more. Like, so did you talk more to your dad about, did you say, for example, like, dad, do you shit out of your butt and then wipe your butt with the actual towel towel, like all the way? Or was it maybe a situation where he just had, you know, a dirty butt and he forgot to clean it in the shower and he was drying off? Like, did you ask specifics? Well, I know that he does this. But I figured he wouldn't do it on vacation. So you mean he doesn't? So it your at mom home? has to wash his shitty towels. Yeah, he's got his own shit towels. Is he like? Wow, is he like really that's <laughs> funny. That's great. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they sell them at Beth Ben Beyond. Just yeah, the t- yeah. shit towels specifically. Right. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. I yes. feel like it would be funnier if you didn't set it up in the beginning. Like, my dad cares about me. Wait, my dad doesn't care about me. <laughs> Just tell the story because the ridiculousness of it right. is you enough. You get them like butt wipes. You know, they make that. You know, you could just get baby ones? towels that you throw away. He gets stuck in his ways and that's it. You grab he likes how thick, <laughs> he likes mean, how thick the I towels know. are. I, I, don't, I, th- I think you guys are enabling this to happen. <laughs> really. Right, just take the towels away I from think you guys should put up more of a stink. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, why'd you guys... Why is this, Why does it get that? Why does it get that reaction? Here, <laughs> here, here's yeah. it. What is that note? Here's what you do. You can buy on Amazon for like seven bucks. You can buy ghost peppers, which is like the hottest pepper ever, there and you can go. just sp- put it all over the towel. So when he wipes his ass, make a hidden camera. It's hilarious. You'll make a million dollars from the YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. How about that for an idea? <laughs> it's so five kill bucks. Him, though. Okay. He might G- die from that. Jim, no, no, he won't die. Jim, let me ask you something. <laughs> yeah, feel you his get? heartbeat in his butthole for a couple hours and be fine. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, Jim? He does this uh, often. Uh, tomorrow I'll be 36 years old. Oh, nice. Happy birthday. Years old. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop loves that. Uh, do you uh, do you still live with your parents? I don't. I don't. Okay. What do you do for work? Uh, I edit television. You nice. edit television. Now, yeah. with a dad that wipes his ass on towels, have right. you ever tried this yourself? Has there ever been like a Teen Wolf <laughs> oh, moment yeah. where you yourself like have gone on? Don't his because he's prone to it. It's <laughs> genetic. <laughs> have you gone on a? Have, well, you, have you gone on a bender of? Uh, of uh, t- no, I go to Costco and I get those flushable wipes. To be uh, to be to clear it up, it's just the cleanup. It's not the full wipe. It's not like you know. It's not the first one. It's like it's the yeah, fourth. It's the Wait, last yeah. one. He doesn't yeah. use the towel for the main cleanup. No, he uses right. the toilet, no. paper, toilet like paper like a human. For the so he just... <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then he does it like a prince <laughs> with a <laughs> towel. You say human like not finishing <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. with toilet paper is human. Yeah. Well, I don't finish with toilet paper either. I go for the wipe. I mean, that's the You're civilized thing to do. Oh, yes. wait. Are you talking about you go toilet paper first and then wipe or your dad? I go toilet paper first. Then wipe. His dad goes toilet paper towel. Toilet yeah. Paper towel. He goes toilet paper towel. Yeah. So for a moment, he's half cleaning his ass. Right. All the way. Mm. Well, but just, just halfway. He's like, I'm going to save the other half of this complete <laughs> ass cleaning right. for that towel, towel that other people... I mean, let me ask you this. Yes. How did you know that his towels were his towels and your towels were other towels? Was it a color-coordinated thing? I guess uh, it's monogram. It's monogram. Yeah, the brown one. Oh wait, Pat has something. <laughs> wait a second. Pat, Pat has something. What? Hold on. Wait, Pat has something so funny to say that he forgot he was committing to the Blue Man Group tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear what. Well, this I wasn't is. committing to the Blue Man Group. <laughs> it's too late. Can we get his mic? What up? What is it? You ever take a, like a no wipe shit? Yeah, those oh, are the best. Like those are the just best. Take a clean missile turd. Yeah, yeah. And stand right up, in. put your pants on, and walk away. That's happened. I've definitely done that one. Oh, hey, we have a special phone call coming in, ladies Uh-oh. and gentlemen. Special. Uh, we have a special call in, and one of the first times in Kill Tony history. Put your hands together for him. It is one of our favorite humans, the great Jeremiah Watkins. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey. That's Donald Trump. Don, Donald, oh, Donald, Donald Trump, Trump is calling. Wait a second. It's not. I'm sorry. Nobody told me this was happening. It, I saw a name. I was wrong. It's actually Donald Trump, everybody. Oh, wow. Donald Trump calling in live on Kill Tony. 
Donald, we're excited uh, one day before the election. How are you, Mr. Trump? Tony, it's so great to be your new president of the United <laughs> States of America. Thank you so much for having me. Wow. So you're already accepting the presidency of the United States of America a day before. Yes, graciously, Tony. You know, I want to call into the number one live podcast in the world, and I figured, you know, before you make your decisions tomorrow, this audience needs to know, make the right decision. Vote for Donald J. Trump 2016, tomorrow, November 8th. There you go. You heard it straight from the, uh, straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Anything else, Mr. Trump? Uh, how's uh, how's everything going out there? It's going pretty great, Tony. Pretty great. It's good to be <laughs> good to be in the running for uh, for president this year, Tony. And I'm a big, big fan of your show. Listen every week. You do. What what's some of your favorite parts of the Kill Tony? I like that Pat Reagan character. That guy's ballsy. He shoots from the hip. He sometimes doesn't know what he's going to say, and he just says it. I can respect a man like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Trump, we wish you the best of luck, and uh, we miss you, and we can't wait to see you again soon. I'll probably most likely be your president tomorrow, so thank you so much. We'll be seeing you tomorrow. Again. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen. According to him, the new president of the United States, Donald the Apprentice Trump. Uh, Jim, who are you voting for tomorrow? Are you voting? Uh, yeah, I'll be voting. Which one of the uh, shitty towels are you voting for? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I've been voting green since I could vote, so I'm just going to keep a... Woo! Wow. USA! Wow, Susan uh, Sarandon audience, of, huh? A keep a clean voting record, right? Right, unlike your dad's towels. <laughs> yeah, towels. Uh, <laughs> His dad's been voting brown. Yeah. That's <laughs> for the brown party. Waka, waka, waka! Uh... Wow. wow. Did I ask you what you do for a living? Yeah. Hey, yeah. edits TV. Edits TV. Yeah. Right. Anything yeah. cool? cool? Anything we'd recognize? Uh, the Deadliest Catch. Wow. Oh, wow. Nice. He looked like you were on hours there. Hours of fishing. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell you've been watching <laughs> hundreds of hours yeah. of their video. Yeah, yeah. You, have yeah. the, uh, you have the head of an Alaskan crab fisherman. Uh. <laughs> no, like, he looks like he works like at a Whole Foods in East L.A. <laughs> Jim, anything else? How, what's your uh, what, what's your uh, dating life like? Uh, I've been dating someone for about two, three years now. Has, does this girl know about your? Has she <laughs> met your dad? She's met him, but not his towels. No. Uh, yeah. Where does he keep the towel? Uh, I think right next to the <laughs> toilet. Wow. Just yeah. wait. He reuses Ow. it. There's no yeah, basket. Yeah. There's no. no basket. Get him a little container for Christmas, like a, a little a shit basket shit. toilet. You guys Christmas. are all enabling. You're all enabling. No, no, I kind of get to use toilet paper. Like, I kind of understand him a special condition. <laughs> no, I what are we talking I about understand here? what your his yeah. dad's like. He like, if I'm in a hotel, it, I do that shit. I'm like, fuck this. Ain't my you towel. I put a bunch of soap on it and wash right. my asshole proper. All right. <laughs> just, hey, this gotta, is why we need Japanese toilets. Japanese toilets are the way of life. Yeah, that's why we need. Get him a bidet then. Yeah, you got to get him a Japanese toilet. Just jump in the shower. Tony, I got a question. Yeah, Pat has a question. Does your dad do anything else funny or weird? Uh, Good question. Yeah. It I seems like that would really be the tip of the yeah, iceberg. Yeah, no, I think it's... Right. Right. <laughs> it's yeah. Tip of the shitty iceberg. He uh, he likes to spit out the window a lot, and before he does it, he's got this throat thing. Like, he's throat singing. He's like... I hate him so much. <laughs> But What's the throat thing? It's it's like a <coughs> it's a pullback and then like a, a <laughs> okay. gurgle like up. Yeah, it's a my dad does that. That's a dad thing. And then yeah. and then out. All yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what does he blow his nose with? Uh, I I don't know. I don't ask. <laughs> T-shirts, hundred dollar bills, underwear. <laughs> 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 All right, Jim. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, get yeah. more spots in. Talk more about. Whatever crazy other shit's going on, and uh, have fun with it. Yeah, nice. don't worry yeah. about setting it up. I think just go into it. It's Get funny. Right yeah, good job. All right, thank you, you met him here, Jimmy. Yes, Anderson. there he goes. He's on Twitter at the Jimmy Chicago. The Jimmy Chicago. What would you do if you met a girl that had shitty towels like that? Lick it up. <laughs> oh, there you go. There he is. You know That's not incorporated you know the podcast. Brian Redman. Oh boy. Redman. During that, I was like, "What if he? What if he? His dad had wiped his his ass with his hair, 
while he was asleep, and then he just dried his hair with the towel and then smelled the towel and be like, this towel smells like shit. But it was really his hair to begin with. <laughs> yeah, and his dad would be like, this, t- this towel smells like shampoo. <laughs> Why does my shit towel smell like shampoo? Do you ever... <laughs> do you- do you ever wonder that he cleans his ass so thoroughly because his his mom loves to eat his dad's ass? <laughs> That's actually a yes. really good point. Like There's to clean. A That's actually for a reason. A point. Yeah. 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 All right. Oh. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Let's see what happens here. Put your hands together for Tuesday Thomas. Oh, good name. Tuesday Thomas. He knows his week. The fuck? Pick it up! Pick it up! Hey, everybody! Hi! Uh, my life's a fucking mess. <laughs> it is. I can't take your shit on, too. When I was 20, I looked like Wonder Woman. Now people just look at me and wonder if I'm a woman! <laughs> it's okay. You can laugh. I know what I look like. I've had lots of plastic surgery. You know? I know what it's all about. The worst part about having plastic surgery, though, is people who come up to you and they think they have something in common with you. Like, I was in the store the other day, and this woman came up to me. It's like, I, I see you've had a lot of work done. I've had work done, too. I've had my eyebrows lifted. I've had my cheeks implanted. I've had my chin done. I've had my lips implanted. I've had my breasts done five times. I've had life on suction. I've had my ass lifted. Next week, I'm going to have my asshole bleached. I was like... She said, what's wrong? You've never heard of an asshole bleaching? I said, yeah, I have, but I just can't imagine you as a blonde. <laughs> Holy shit, exactly a minute. <laughs> Tuesday Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Nailing it. Nailing, Thank you, Tony. Nailing yes. the Nail. landing. Uh, Pat, wow. you look blue. Are you okay? Tuesday. Uh-huh. Oh, Tuesday. Are you all right? <laughs> Tuesday. Save it. Save it. What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing over there, Tuesday? I love Pat. You're He's trying cool. to hijack this show. What's going on? You, <laughs> you wild thing. <laughs> uh, Tuesday, what's your story? You've been on this show once before, yeah, right? Yeah. R- remind me of uh, what we covered last time. Uh, I run a show called Freak Show in a venue that has a uh, mummified dead clown in it. Okay, what yeah. else? And, uh, Other than you promoting a show. Yeah. What else? <laughs> That I, uh, no one's ever going to go to, by the way. But <laughs> oh, they on. go. No, I'm kidding. Go. I'm kidding. Go on. Um, what else did I do? I act. I was on Botched. The TV oh, you show were? Botched. Yeah. That, is that what you act on? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but I was on there. So What I mean, was I, it? I, I, what did I, you I, have it fix on Botched? Oh, they didn't fix because I spent like years and thousands and thousands of dollars yeah. trying to get this fixed. And this is how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh huh. Tell me, sister. Then uh-huh. you know, they couldn't fix anything. Yeah. I get it. So I'm stuck this way forever. But I'm okay yes. with it. I've come you to terms good. with it. So wow. no for Botox for me. That was my next question. <laughs> Don't do it. Are you Don't asking start it. me? If Don't you do Botox. Do Botox. Don't do Botox, right? Tuesday, <laughs> Botox where are you from? Mine. Other than New un- York. Other than underneath my bed when I was. <laughs> <laughs> He's not kidding. I cut up when he's asleep and I just drool right on it. <laughs> so Tuesday, tell me more about you. You seem like such an interesting character. Oh, thank you. I grew up in New York. Like New York City or outside of New York? Yeah, New York City where the, yeah. the ta- uh, you know, the, the whatever that was, that taco sauce. New York City! Stop trying to be funny, Tuesday. <laughs> Stick with it. Let's get some real answers out of here. Yeah, I grew up in New York yeah. City. Uh-huh. I've lived all over the country. I've what, lived if, in San what do you Francisco. do for work? Um, I I mostly do acting and comedy, and that pays my bills. It just yes. pays my bills. But you know, I'm happy, <laughs> and I'm following my passion. Wow! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's great that you're uh, <laughs> going face to face with your dreams. I do work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> at my n- and your nightmares. <laughs> yeah. I work two days a week in a bakery in the ghetto. In you I live do? in the ghetto. You work in a bakery in the, in the ghetto? ghetto. See, that's yes. what I love to yeah, hear. Yeah. <laughs> I work. I do over on Crenshaw and Jefferson. Wow. Yeah. What kind of bakery? Cobbler. Cobblers. Oh. Apple, peach. Where did you get your name from Tuesday? Was that like... My parents like Tuesday <laughs> Wild the actress. Oh, okay. Remember her? No, Are you close with your parents? Um, 
Yeah, I don't my, think my so. My stepfather's passed away, but I was, yeah, I'm close to my yeah. mother. And then I have a, my real dad died, but I have like three half sisters, three, <coughs> excuse me, three stepsisters. I think Tuesday's dying right now. Really <laughs> on the show. <laughs> <laughs> she just had a little mini uh, stroke. Do you have to get <laughs> patted down before going into the bakery? No. <laughs> No, coming out. No, no, I don't. Actually, um, it's not really bad over there. The area I live in was the area the riots were. But it's funny, it's now the n- number one area in the country for gentrification. It's like hyper gentrifying. A year and a half ago, the house next, the building next to me. All right, Tuesday. You're like a bad they had a You're like an annoying team. neighbor, right? <laughs> <laughs> Conversations going on way too long. Oh, t- they had a SWAT team come in and get rid of everybody, yeah. gotcha. and then um, now it's a yoga studio. All right, fuck yeah. Does, <laughs> does your uh, do you ever uh, does your face ever go to the uh, yoga studio? No, no, never no. stretches out a little bit. You know? no. no, it's broken. You sons of bitches, it's you're broken. just gonna leave me all alone, really? <laughs> you fucking assholes. I knew I half liked this crowd. Only 50%. You guys will just want to see fucking war tonight, don't you? <laughs> want to see I old t- confident Tony get slapped. <laughs> Pieces of shit. Your, your plastic surgery, when you first had it, did you go somewhere like a Mexico or yeah, like a I weird... Did. I, was the, yeah. I, was, I, was div- I was getting a divorce. I had a bad marriage yeah. and a bad divorce. And so I wanted to... Um, go to Mexico. Right. You went to a bakery in yeah. the ghetto and you showed them a picture of an apple fritter. <laughs> like, I want that. How long were you a married? A bear claw. <laughs> <laughs> how long? <laughs> <laughs> the way you just said bear claw. Bear claw. Bear, bear claw. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little, uh, you have a little bass in the, the little, 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 little bass, <laughs> bass in your voice, Tuesday. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the <laughs> fuck were we just talking about before the bear claw? The surgery. Oh. The surgery in Mexico. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The how surgery long, in Mexico. How long were you married for? I was married for four years. Four years, mm-hmm. and uh, so you go down to Mexico, and you're like, you know what? I might what, like. What was your botched about? What did you talk about there? Uh, I talked about the fact that what they did was I, w- I w- just wanted basically a facelift with some fillers, and they ended up, unbeknownst to me, pumping silicone into my face. So I had to spend years, um, and they also cut some nerves. Oh my god! You know, so Fuck. yeah, so this side doesn't quite lift up and stuff. So I spent was years. This dur- was this when you were on that show with Gene Siskel? Oh my god. <laughs> Pat, come on. <laughs> so Pat, we can still see you beyond the you face thought, you paint. You thought the words Gene Siskel was going to ignite a fire. I should have said Roger Ebert. You said it well, so I think strong. It's Roger Ebert. <laughs> That's what you you get for thinking, Pat. (laughs) Oh, man. You just got housed by a Tuesday. (laughs) On a a Monday. Monday. (laughs) (laughs) Got your girl in the club. Man, Tuesday. uh, What are you into sexually? (laughs) A lot. I mean, you're you're working a bread company down on Crenshaw. Are you getting some pumpernickel? What's going on down there? No, I. I it's yeah. a bread joke, you racist. <laughs> it's actually like there's ex- a lot of uh, Mexican Americans there, so I get a lot of oh mommy, oh, oh mommy, which I don't understand the mommy thing. Uh, I don't understand that. You don't? That's just no. How I don't know why talk. they call it mommy. Yeah. George, I'm not, why I told one guy, I said, oh. I'm not your mommy. I'm not five foot two with a mustache. Uh, so whoa. please don't say mommy. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Well, George, uh, why do uh, Latino guys call it mommy? I don't know. Oh, all right. There you oh, go. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> That's our senior Latino correspondent, George Perez. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't say that shit. <laughs> our senior. Maybe we'll go back on more uh, Latino Back to you references. on nothing explanation. Uh, I don't. <laughs> okay. I don't. I'm from Orange County. <laughs> well, we don't say mommy. We'd be like, what up? <laughs> You just yeah. say the beginning part and of that yeah. works for you? Yeah, I mean, I think they like you because we like pan, and that's bread in English. Uh, you don't like that, though. You don't like it when people say mommy. Yeah. I, I, to be honest with you, have I, mommy would, issues. I would rather, no, I would rather have somebody come up, hi, how are you? My name is so-and-so. Uh, yo, Swolio, Swolio. <laughs> Swolio. I thought mommy issues was funny. It was like I said, uh, Gene Siskel or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday. So, uh, wow. So, what else? I mean, you seem like such an. Int- I feel like you, you. There's. I feel like there's more to this story. Like, 
you have anybody like locked up in a box where you live or something like that? Like no, not recently. I mean, um, would anything, no. anything. Great? No, I'm actually very normal. What else is interesting about you? Um, Been I, I'm it? Italian. My mother's from Sicily. Um, All right. What is what is this shirt? What is this shirt? E Harmony profile. <laughs> hmm. How long have you lived in LA? Three <laughs> years. Really? Because of yeah. the yeah, Sicily right. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Three Four and a half now. minutes Six later. Like, oh. She just said her mom is her. She just said she's Italian. <laughs> I know. I'm she kidding. I'm just... All right. Tuesday. Uh, but if you, if you close your eyes and listen to her, she sounds like Ty Rivera. Like, just talk a little bit. <laughs> Look. Just say anything, anything Tuesday. Anything, anything, anything. No, yeah. It's yeah, true. a little bit of a tie. There is something in there. Yeah. Uh, all right, Tuesday. You have any special talents or anything like that? Just being funny and acting, and I don't. You got good I mean, nipples. I can see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the other thing. For you know, I had. Um, I think we talked about this last time. Uh-huh. I had uh, triple D breast implants that were silicone, and they burst, and I had to have them removed. Oh my god! Yeah. How did they yeah. burst? Did they, were they? Uh, did they go in the? They uh, just went bad, and they started leaking, and it almost killed me. Oh my <laughs> god! Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. god! Oh. So, oh. And I, d- I mean, uh-huh. these are natural now, so when they take them out, I got a little bit of a lift. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He's on tonight. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, man, what do you remember? Anything that happened that made the, it was just over time they burst? Just, Did you get those in Mexico too? No, no, it was just over time. Right. That, you know they they uh, I guess they broke down or something. Right. But they were yeah. both leaking. <laughs> they were both leaking. I was t- trying actually. You, ate, when you I, ate some pop well, rocks. <laughs> When I was dating, or, or I was like talking to this guy online, uh-huh. and we were gonna like meet up and you know finally make a face to face meet, and then th- it got really bad. So I said, "Look, dude, it's gonna be a while. I've got this is what's happening. They burst. I'm gonna have to have them removed. And maybe when I start feeling better, if you're still into it, we can meet." And he's like, "No problem whatsoever. Um, yeah, just but, let me go. Let me out of the car." <laughs> 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 but I said. I said to him, you know what he said to me? No problem, whatever you say, lady, please. (laughs) I have kids. (laughs) But he said to me, he says, can you do me a favor? I said, well, it depends on what. He's like, can you show me a picture of what they look like now before you have them taken out? Wow. And I was like, yeah, sure, I've had a miscarriage. You want to see a picture of that, too? Wow. (laughs) Tuesday. (laughs) Tuesday, making it feel like a Wednesday. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> All right, Tuesday. Well, it was nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, congrats. Okay, okay, uh, did you have fun here tonight? <laughs> oh, I always have fun here. Always Thank having you guys. fun. There Thank she you. goes, Tuesday Thomas. <laughs> She's on Twitter at Mama Warned Me. Mama Warned Me. That's she, her Twitter handle. She should have warned me. Not about me. plastic surgery. Not no. once. She you should change her. it. You should change it to Mommy Warned Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Or Mommy Horny. Yeah, Jade. You ever have any? Uh, you ever think about getting any plastic surgery of any kind? I think I think about Botox every day. You think about <laughs> it every day? Yeah, I'm too scared. I'm too scared. What if something fucked up happens? Your, that it's your too face scary. is fine. There's other I, areas. I was hinting more scary. at a boob job. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think uh, I think we're all thinking boob job here, Jade. <laughs> Guys, I can't get a boob job. I can't do it. What if something fucked up happened? I already have a scar down my center. They got that shit figured out I mean, by now. What 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 could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> no matter what, you'll just have the same... Tiny breasts? The I'm same. happy with my tiny breasts. I like how little they bounce. I'm like, thank you. Oh, hey, listen yeah. to that. Look, to my tiny look, breast patrol. It's a couple chicks with tiny tits yeah. and a bunch of couple dudes that'll fuck I anything. I love it. <laughs> look at that. They're here for me. I love that. That was adorable. I loved that. <laughs> Such desperate, lonely guys clapping for small tits. I like them tiny better than I like them big. I do. No, I know. Yeah. I was just kidding. I was making a joke. Yeah, he keeps getting too serious over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I pulled, I pulled the name out of the bucket. Do it. How about Samir Suri? <laughs> hello. Hello, my darlings. I am so fucking pissed tonight. We're going to discuss this now. We are going to discuss this because another stupid-ass white friend wants to vacation in India. Why? Why? The national anthem is played on a rape whistle. 
Why? The most popular baby name is stillborn. Why? I started smoking cigarettes in India. I took one puff and thought, this air is cleaner. Why? And I'm cranky because I had to stop whoring. And oh, and I hoard, my dears. I have fucked more black men than the Middle Passage. I have whored. <laughs> but you worry when you whore. I don't. No, I do. <laughs> Every time I have a cold that lasts longer than two weeks, I'm convinced it's AIDS. <laughs> and it's not worth it in LA anymore. Because LA fag's the worst. If boxed wine were a person. <laughs> Samir Suri, ladies and gentlemen, coming in and laying it down. Coming I'm in, in love. And shredding. I'm in love with you. I'm yeah. in love. You're like a weird Jewish gay woman <laughs> trapped in like and like your hand, the way like yeah. you stand. And you, and you have the delivery of like you're like that guy that gets to go on his own rant segment on like the oh, local I news. I love it. <laughs> now it's time. Look at his laugh. Look at this. Why this? And another thing. Oh, I Here's love that. it. You're just gay enough, just diverse enough. It's really going to work. Uh, I think you're going to yeah, get booked yeah. in something. Absolutely going to be a superstar. Yeah, you're There's a superstar. Oh, the way you ch- puff your chest out like a mad, angry ch- chicken. Just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Samir, where are you from? From L.A. Born and, raised. Born and raised. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Do you fuck a lot of black dudes? Is that for real? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, mostly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. are, you, are you a top or a bottom? Bottom. Yeah, bottom. Yeah, her yeah. like hell. Uh. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what? Go yeah, ahead. Go. You know what's cool is I met you last night. Well, did I meet you yeah, last night? Last week, yeah. Yeah, at the Wait. bar. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Wow. Was he on his back? Or... Hey, I'm dark. I'm dark. Him and George were both uh, waiting <laughs> to go visit friends in prison. Yeah. <laughs> no. Now today he thinks he has AIDS again because uh-huh. he met him last night. No, I, I met you at the bar and uh, you were... <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, I was sitting uh, my drink on your lower uh, back. Uh, I could tell you pull out. <laughs> No, he was you cool. Go in uh, 360 degrees and He's a bottom. Let me help him. There you go. <laughs> I know I got it. <laughs> Samir, how old are you? 22. <laughs> wow, so young. What do you do for work? I write showbiz news. Oh god. Wow. <laughs> I love how he that exact rant news thing that I was thing? talking about. That's pretty much it. Where's that for? This yeah. he's just petting an imaginary dog at all times. Yeah. <laughs> it's a gay thing. Just Oh, that's for the the Daily Mail. Oh, very cool. That's yeah. amazing. Thanks. You're like a Perez Holiday Inn. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like a Perez yeah. Yeah. Hilton. You guys yeah. that, you fucking idiots. <laughs> Brilliant. They're with you. And on the spot. How old are you? been written in the 22. moment. 22. 22. You're a baby. Yeah. How long have you been on stand-up? About two years. Yeah, you're unstoppable. You're unstoppable. So oh, fun. <laughs> what, uh, what are you, like, your big goals and shit? Like, what do you really want to do? I want to keep doing this. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and interview, I guess. I would love to interview. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, start doing it now. So how yeah. much does your dad hate you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's just get right into it. I mean, just <laughs> fucking furious. <you> know? <laughs> Unbelievable. It's so refreshing not to hear an Indian accent, so just refrain. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, I know. Yeah. It's yeah. surprising that you're Indian and you're a bottom, though, because normally Indians are on top of moving trains. So, <laughs> that's an Indian thing. Tony. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Very good reference, Brian. Wow. You, you kind of sound like Roger from American Dad. You know the alien? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, he does! <laughs> and he's, he's based on Paul Lynn. Yeah, right. yeah that's I think you of sound like You're like a uh, Indian Phyllis Diller kind of? Yeah. yeah very it's kind of like so. a Jewish yeah. thing to him. I like it. <laughs> uh, what, really um, good. Okay, so your dad, he's uh, like, you know. He's cool about it. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. Because he, he came here young. He came here at 14, so he like wow. assimilated and everything. Okay. But what? going back there is like the birdcage. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. How often I, do you go back there? About every d- three or four years. Wow. Yeah. 
Um, I want to hear him like read any like the Bible, just a Joseph <laughs> Mary <Yeah>. death. <laughs> and then Mary had all this drama. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is your son. Yeah, really good. <laughs> oh, yeah. She says she's the pregnant version. Yeah. Oh, really good. Samir, why do you think it is, if you had to guess, why do you think you're so attracted to black men? Oh, they're just the ones who've been attracted to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love. I'm going to... Uh. Supply and demand. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, interesting. So wow. you live on your own? No, I'm, I'm at home still. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. What are your parents? Wow. Are they that cool that you're allowed to bring just fucking giant oh, black no. men home? <laughs> just get railed in your parents' place? <laughs> <laughs> no, never. No. I always go to his place. Oh, yeah. interesting. Maybe there's something funny about going to Airbnbs all the time to fuck your old lovers. He goes, some wow. Yeah, you go to Air R&Bs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I was. Yeah, yeah, like thank you. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? You guys gave up on me? <laughs> <R&B>. <laughs> now, I was sitting here high, going, "I should say something." I should say something. <laughs> I was like, "Fuck it." Samir, what else? What else is? Uh, what else is in your life? Do you have a what lot else? of body hair. Oh yeah, well that that comes with the territory. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you look like you have two def- like also defined eyebrows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Do you wear a curry jersey for the black dudes? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even know where that is, but it sounded hilarious. Stephen Curry. Oh, because you're making a curry. All right. okay. oh, Fuck see, it, I'll get high again. Yeah. <laughs> so you make a living writing already. Yeah. Right? Wow, and you can survive off that, but not enough quite to get out of the parents' house yet. Not quite, yeah. So, what's your plan? Where do you think? What do you, what do you think the next step is? The next step is make enough money for my own place. <laughs> yeah, Tony, okay. idiot. Yeah, okay, uh, I mean, uh, that's sort of what I was saying. I was asking you a different question. Oh no, I mean, I'm save. I'm saving for that. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I got a question yeah. for uh, Samir. How how do you find the celebrity news? Oh, well, I, I, that's, I've signed an NDA. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. So I can't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're trying to subscribe, huh? Yeah. We get, we get tips. Really? Yeah. It just, I feel like, I feel like all those sites just like look at the other sites and yeah. copy and paste <laughs> all the news. He's not allowed to tell you that he does that. Let him do it. <laughs> no further questions. <laughs> well, no, when, when it's from another site, it's, it's cited. <laughs> There's bibliographies for yeah. these sites. I think that I just think it's a really, really. TMZ good th- said. I think <laughs> I think it's a really good job for you, though. You know what I mean? Like that oh, totally thanks. makes sense. I feel like you have Daily Mail inside of you. Yeah, you know it's I mean? true. <laughs> You're so castable. Yeah, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You're yeah, he's so gay and castable. I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> you're unstoppable. Yeah, you're, you're great job. Star. There he is, Samir. Yeah, yes. <laughs> he's on Twitter at Suri underscore Samir. He's diverse. He's gay. He owns it. He's cool. And his parents aren't going to murder him. There's nothing that can stop him. That's simply just how it works. Um, what do you think? We go to our regulars now. Yeah, let's do one. Yeah, do it now and then get the. And then go back to the bucket yes. again later. Let's do that. How do you guys feel about that? Huh? That sounds like fun. Oh well, yeah, who are the regulars? Uh, going up first tonight. You know her from this show. Always fun. The lovely, the hilarious Vanessa Johnston. Everybody, here she is. <laughs> You're like really pretty. Okay. Um, wait, is it on? Yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of people are worried that if Trump wins the election, that uh, he's going to be the next Hitler, and there's going to be another Holocaust. I don't know. I mean, like Nazis were insane, right? Like they turned Jews into soap. That's crazy. Why would you make soap out of a group of people who you think are dirty? Like. <laughs> Trump isn't going to turn Mexicans into soap. They're better at cleaning alive. (laughs) It's crazy how much people care about who you vote for. Like, to the point where friendships break up. Did anyone lose friends this election? 
Like, like one dude. <laughs> Everyone was like, no, we have all. Especially Facebook friends. The crazy thing is that people arguing about these things aren't even experts in government. They like work at Bloomingdale's. And then they're just, <laughs> okay. There you go. Yes, they don't have any political expertise. But that soap thing was great. That yes. fun- joke is so funny. Yeah. Yeah. How old are you? Twenty. F- I just turned 25. You're so cute. Oh, my God. Have you been doing the show a bunch? Yeah, yeah um, a year. Yeah, she's a regular a year? on the show. Mm-hmm. She's on the poster. Sorry, right I don't there. fucking <laughs> listen to this show. She writes and performs a new 60 wow. seconds Come every week. On. That's awesome. This is, I think, my 50th minute. 50th minute. Oh, oh yeah. the hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy 50 minutes. Wow. wow. How many minutes have you lazy fucks written, huh? Wow. 10 more. Andy Rooney's coming. <laughs> oh, Andy Rooney and Gene Siskel in the same episode. <laughs> For those of you playing Kill Tony Bingo and have the most unbelievably ridiculously rare card ever, then cross off Gene Siskel and Andy Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in, in your joke, when you said, like, we're losing a lot of friends, I think you could have came back and said, and some Mexicans are going to be losing family. Uh-huh. That's funny. That's yeah. funny. That's funny. That's what I was like, fuck, she's losing friends. I might lose my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it's funny if you maybe brought back the juice soap, like, yeah. and they're good with cleaning, with juice soap. You know what I mean? I don't know. Something yeah. about the Jew body soap. <laughs> I think it's really funny. I feel, I was like nervous when you came up, and I'm, I'm like, I'm impressed. I thought the jokes were really solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked it. Yeah, uh, and she gave me a little flirt smile before she started. Did you guys see it, or was it to you? <laughs> and I thought it was to me. It wasn't, it wasn't me. She like cool. made me nervous. I was like, is this thing on? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's who she is. Why don't you guys kiss? All right. <laughs> Whoa, Brian's got an idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's always full of good ideas. What'd you say? Let's no. have him kiss, guys. Okay. Don't you think they should kiss real no, quick? stop it. Don't do that. We're not going to kiss fucking, in front of you that guys, I you fucking idiots. jokingly play back into you and you get double serious. <laughs> you're like, oh, really, Tony? Let's go. <laughs> fucking buffoon. You're out of control. What was the second setup? The friend set up. That, it would have been so perfect. <laughs> Come on, guys. Kiss. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> no. <laughs> so retarded. <laughs> Um, uh, Vanessa, another great new minute. We did. Yeah, it. I thought Pat, it was really good. Pat Thank and uh, Vanessa have been uh, stirring up a little bit of a rivalry. Oh, I thought it, you were going to say Twitter romance. Has been <laughs> they take shots. At each other. <laughs> they take shots at each other. It seems almost every week on the show. Pat, anything about uh, Vanessa's performance tonight that you want to say or not say? <laughs> Tony's like the father that wants the siblings to fight. He's like, it's no, true. We, the stronger of them will survive. He instigates. He can only afford one child. Why did are, she, you, why are she, you blue? Did she make you laugh, Pat? Did you give her props today? Props. It's very dark. Yeah, I it like was that very too. dark. I like her new dark shit. Where are you from? Uh, I was. I've been in here for seven. I've been in LA for seven years. I literally can't talk to you. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, Damn. Like a crush on she looks like a girl I dated for six months. So Whoa. It's like, wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 I'm literally uh, like blushing. In, in the edit of the show, we'll make that a little bit tighter. We'll cut that woe down by four seconds. Wow, this is amazing. Jade, um, let me ask you. Uh, I mean, I don't want to put you on the uh, put you on the spot here, but I mean, what do you think about Vanessa? What? I'm just here to judge her comedy, okay? And I thought it was fucking good. <laughs> no, I thought you were great. I really did. I, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Vanessa, you literally can't look at her. Jade, how does this make you feel having this kind of power over, uh, you know? No, I thought she was great. She's, I mean, I'm not a great writer, so I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm intimidated as well. Seconds. I'm talking about what's happening right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll talk later, you know. Chill. Whoa, keep your eye on that. George, any closing words for Vanessa? No. Uh, keep it up and. Uh, <laughs> Jade, is there anything else you want to say to Vanessa, Jade? Just like tonight when I'm in my bed. um. (laughs) All right, thank you. Yeah, great job. (laughs) We have another regular. Uh, I mean, just fucking... Oh, that's right. She's in New York City as well. There you go. So we don't have another regular. Back to the bucket we go. Anything can happen. Anything in the world. So let's see what happens. 
How about Danny Williams? <laughs> Nothing. All right. Oh. Okay. It's coming. All right. Shit, I was sleeping in the back. Um, <laughs> fuck. Um, what are we doing? <laughs> I met a white girl on Tinder like a few weeks ago. And she said she never dated a black dude. And she wanted the full black experience. So I just got all my friends around a train on her. <laughs> it was like the blackest shit I could think of. Like... There's nothing blacker than eight dudes all wearing socks and hats. <laughs> Banging some chick on some dirty mattress on the floor. Like R. Kelly plays out of somebody's cell phone speaker. That's the blackest shit I could think of. I think the only way to be black is if Luke Cage is playing on the TV. And then a the cop just showed up and shot everybody. Like that. <laughs> That would be the black shit I could think of. Um, there we go. Fuck yeah, Danny. This is the first time I've ever said this in the history of the show. But first of all, let me start off by saying good morning. Good morning. Uh, we, <laughs> seems as though we woke you up from a nap that you were taking in the back. He looks like he always comes from naps. You oh, know, man. no matter what, like Jeez, he's always what's taking that time. supposed to mean shade. Hello. <laughs> all right. Uh, Danny, what's up? How long have you been on stand-up? Uh, about four years, maybe. That's cool. Yeah. He's sleepy. Look. I think. I, did I see you? On, <laughs> did I see you on the uh, bedtime story show the other day? Oh, the rape thing. Yeah, y you were really, really funny. Like that was one of my favorite sets of the night. He's very funny. Uh, I agree. You a little bit sleepy right now? <laughs> oh. No, see what happened is they made us go on the back, and it's hot as fuck, and I've been drinking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they made you go to the back? They made me go in the back. Oh, wow. It's a room full of smelly comics. It's and green. the smell just puts you to sleep. You're yum, like, yum, fuck yum, this yum, shit. Yum, 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 yum. The show put me to sleep. No, I'm just fine. No. Oh, damn, uh, you're damn up. it. Oh, shit. No, the show was awesome. That's, That's all okay. Of course. I thought when you said the R. Kelly thing, you had a moment to w do like a phone call. Like, who's calling them to make their R. Kelly? Like, don't come here. No. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you, you forgot your own joke? No. What do you <laughs> I was thinking they should have peed when, on her, bro. What do you do for work, Danny? <laughs> oh. It's a little on the nose. <laughs> I work at a wheelchair company. Really? <laughs> That's, That's funny. What kind of, what's, what's different about your wheelchair? Do you get a discount? <laughs> no. Can we get a no, wheelchair? If you show up at 5.30, we can sneak one out the back. Uh, like, right. Damn. That was I'd like one. You never like know. Waterproof or, no, waterproof. Do you like repair them like American choppers? No, like, what do you guys... <laughs> <laughs> he comes out all greasy and shit. He's like, I've been working on this one. No, I have to, I have to explain to insurance companies why people need wheelchairs. Oh, shit. Yeah. Like, uh, you can't walk, uh, bitch. Uh, <laughs> 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 That's why he's sleepy. Nah, oh, damn, the phone. Uh, no, I work oh, up, I work been, I, got, I, get yeah. up at, I get up at 5.30. <gasps> oh, wow. no. Wow, for the wheelchair place? I work in fucking Cerritos. Oh, Cerritos? No. Cerritos. Oh, my God. I don't even know where Cerritos is. It's just far. <laughs> <laughs> How I do you get automotive. to work? I just hear Cerrito <laughs> out of part. <laughs> right? I just take the five uh -huh. until traffic stops, and I'm nice. at work. Like, <laughs> wow. That's yeah. funny too. You smoke good fucking weed, dude. Yeah. You sleep all day and you sell wheelchairs I don't even, I don't and you even don't smoke even know. Weed, dude. That's what? funny. You, like you, have, you have hair like that and you take naps that often and I you don't smoke weed? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is going on? That's dude. funny. Uh, they don't check you for DUIs when you look like Oh, they like, check yeah. your blood and yeah, your Yeah, I'm pee. drunk as fuck all the time. They yeah. don't even they don't even they don't even check. Oh, because they just think you're high. Yeah. Yeah. He can hide like tiny bottles in his dreads. You know, the little <laughs> tiny wine bottles. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit, Danny just got serious. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's sweet, fun, serious. Danny. That's exciting. What else is going on in life? You dating anybody? I'm dating fat chicks. Yes. <laughs> oh shit. There that's, it is. That's what you're into. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever push them in the wheelchair? Like you don't have to walk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hilarious. 
that's what Tinder Why gets fat you. checks? Because Tinder in LA, like. <laughs> what does Tinder have to do with it? What do you have a high weight limit on Tinder? No. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> Your settings are between 250 and 500. <laughs> no, when you look like this and you live in Los Feliz. Oh yeah. Shout out to Just Los Feliz. Fat yeah, checks. that's a cool area. Yeah. Cool. yeah they're yeah. kind of racist. They they're not into this. This is too black. Like they don't want me or my friends. Like. So you like white fat chicks, not black I chicks? Like, you ever hook up with a lady named Tuesday Thomas before? <laughs> no, but I saw her earlier. I, I probably will. Oh! <laughs> I think we have a new thing. <laughs> oh, I miss that song. All right, Danny. Well, uh, we'll let you go. We'll get somebody else up here. You go Great get job, some sleep. Man. There he goes, Danny Williams. <laughs> Back to bed for Danny Boy. Top five. I like him. I think we're going to build him some bunk beds in the corner for next week. He could have the top bunk and the uh, Indian boy can have the bottom. <laughs> Those boys were like prepubescent. This is interesting. Uh, put your hands together. This doesn't sound like this is going to be real. How about French accent? <laughs> This shit's going down. I think a midget's large intestine should be called a semicolon. <laughs> I was at a college bar recently standing by myself because look at me. And this young, sexy, solipsistic sorority sister sauntered over and said, Ta, why are you by yourself? I said, well, I did not want to get taken advantage of by any gold digger college broad. She said, gold digger college. You're rich? I said, no, but look how hard your nipples got. <laughs> and that is how I lost this eye. I like my women like I like my chocolate. Cheap and at the gas station. <laughs> I think women are like shopping centers. You're more likely to be inside one if you got some cash. <laughs> All right, I did a bunch of women jokes. Ladies, you want to hear a man joke? Oh, you want to hear a man joke? <laughs> men are like dogs. Men are like dogs. Fiercely loyal. <laughs> See what I did there? Fuck you, ladies! There you go. I pay Cody and I'm going home by myself! Wow! God bless you, good night! French accent! Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. We've had some real killers here tonight. <laughs> oh, shit. This is clearly, I would think I would remember this. This is definitely the debut of. Oh, you get you could tell he, he's surprisingly new. Taylor in that shit, alright. I mean, he has the oh, he has the comedy of a very experienced comedian and the business cards of a brand new one. Yeah. <laughs> French accent. He nice would to meet yeah. you, French. Yes, Can I French. Call you French. That's your name, Fre French accent. Well, it's an acronym. Wait, you, your voice just changed immediately. <laughs> what just happened? Uh, it's a French puberty. It's a uh, um. <laughs> you turn into an American, you quit running away. It's uh, Francois Raphael, Edgar <laughs> Norbert, <laughs> Celestine Hairbar, Absalon Corbin. How long have you been stand up? Five and a half years. <laughs> wow. Very Where are you from? Uh, Wyoming, obviously. Yes. Wow. wow. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's amazing. Is this a character you do all the time, or do you do a bunch I, of different? Believe it or not, I've headlined in nine states with this shit. I believe. I, I believe, believe it. That, I believe it. Very right. funny. Uh, let me ask you this. Uh, what the fuck was it? Uh, Colorado's where I've been the last eight years. All right. Uh, wow. Oh, yeah, that, w that was it. You, you've See been doing... Been? You, so you've been, how long have you been in L.A.? Uh, two and a half weeks. Two and a half What? Weeks. Do you live here now? I live in an RV on the street. Boom. There I, you go. French I accent has arrived. Ooh la la. <laughs> Les incompetents. Merci beaucoup. Oh, I don't speak wait. French. I see, senor. Yeah, I thought your French kind of went Irish and then Scottish a well, little I'd bit like to towards be from it. Ireland if I wanted to, but from Scotland, I used to be Scotland. I'd say, oh, like I'm from there. Scotland. I love blackberries, as I prefer to call them wee grapes. And, oh. uh, <laughs> but there's some other fucker doing a Scottish thing headlining when I started. Yeah, so I theater's quit. fun, huh? So you went and you decided to go with the French pirate accordion. Uh, Man, there's a whole story to this <laughs> thing. It takes a minute, though. I don't want to mess you up. There, there's a it's, it was like it was like a god thing, man. It like happened out of nowhere. Where did what? you get that? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> got, Wh where um, did you get that accordion? Because like my people play that too. <laughs> We're not getting no credit here. Uh, well, uh, I don't. Uh, should, I can't be funny anymore. All right, I, I got it. my mom gave it to me for Christmas. She said I should play it on the street. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's beautiful. You drove an RV here from I did, Colorado. With two cats. With two cats in the <laughs> RV. Yes. They're in the RV right now. Right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't get a lot of pussy. I mean, I get cats. Does, your, does, your, oh, geez. does your whole RV just smell like cat litter and piss and yeah. shit like that? I mean, I got a lot of air fresheners and there's some weed. All right. <laughs> The um, cats are there to hide the weed smell, and the weed's there to hide the shit smell. I mean, <laughs> I just tell people it's That's really great. primo stuff. They, you know, yeah, yeah it's I'm very specific. Nice. Your pot yeah. smells like cat shit. <laughs> <laughs> some very potent it's stuff. Some hey, right. random fun fact: pirates used to wear the the eye patch so they could see downstairs and upstairs real quick to fight. So they could switch it over and be one eye is like, used yeah. to the dark and one eye is used to the light. Yeah, like right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, oh, look at that. God, You're blind. Yeah, yeah. It was normal. I did not yeah. want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to like put some like makeup here uh, and like it just look horrible underneath. But yeah. I, I haven't figured that out. That's a lot of commitment yeah. for one minute. Standing yeah. out there for an hour is a lot of commitment. You, well, one get used to it. You're in now. L.A. now. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I'd say wait for the eye makeup until you're not living in an automobile with two cats. Yeah. That's have you have you done a long set before and how long and is it easy to keep up with that like 80 minutes energy. you can find it on youtube wow. 70 minutes the camera died till before the end it's uh, just look up kevin bennett comedian even or the French camera yeah. gave up on that set <laughs> 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 the it enough. Oh, wait do you want you want to do like an hour like this you want to do like you're do I've done it. yeah yeah so oh, great. yeah yeah and you're not what's your dream in uh to be in LA, what are you doing here? Well, you know, it's nice to live in an RV. I'd rather not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'd like to have a real house. Like sometime. a home and stuff, uh, yeah. You know, uh, you seem hip enough that even in an RV, yeah, you still park cool. it in Los Feliz. Am I right? Um, actually, Ventura Boulevard. Oh, by the river. Uh, well, oh, that's crazy. I don't know. That's where he washes. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, of washing. What, I mean, yeah. what were you? Hey, yeah. I have a Pat Reagan question. over there. I have a couple questions. Yeah. Well, we got to fly through because it's right. the end what, of the episode. Uh, what were you doing before this? Um, that's a good. I worked at T-Mobile. Um, <laughs> well, geez, all right. I don't want to know the mystery behind. Yeah. No, Frank here's Jack, here's my. I don't know. Yeah. Nah. All right. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I think I think I think your jokes are too good for you to be doing the character. I think you're incredibly talented with the accordion. Um, yeah. I don't know. That's all. Well, thank you. Hey, man, if you want to do agree. some music with this yeah. thing. Yeah. I have an accordion. I play accordion. I would we like to. Do it. I would like to. I mean, I would like to. Yeah. You yeah. should check out. Oh yeah, SoundCloud. Uh, Regimented cacophony uh, between dystopia. There you go. He's French accent. There he goes. He's gone. French accent. There he goes. There's the drawing from Ryan J. Ebel. That happened while you were sitting there enjoying tonight's show. He drew tonight's episode with Jade Catapretta, George Perez. What do you guys got coming up? Anything you want to promote? Anything like yeah, that? Yeah, Ice House, 18th and 19th of November with Bobby Great. Lee. Come awesome. out. It's going to be fun. Yeah. And uh, those who can't, on True TV, watch it. Yeah. I'm on I'll be it. doing the roast battle in the belly room on Wednesday, November 16th. Be here. Spread the word. Catch See you Pat guys. on Comedy Central in January. Pat Reagan. Hey, watch. I'm in this uh, Comedy Central web series called Questionable Science with Rich Fulter from the Mighty Boosh. It's awesome. Watch Fuck it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Joel Jimenez is on Twitter at, at Mostly Sorry. Josh Martin is Josh Martin comic. Uh, Jamie Vernon. Brian Redman. We're going to be in Houston. Yeah. We're going to be in San Francisco. If you live anywhere near those two cities, meow, come meow. see Kill Tony Live. You are lucky because it's coming to you. See you guys. And, uh, yeah. Check out other tour dates at TonyInchClip.com. Bye, live audience. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>